what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we are back with another example chart and this chart has details of extreme beauty yes 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 many of you would have have been asking me since i have been making these example charts from last two three days that oh my goodness we want to see how beautiful a person will be from a chart okay so please tell us so here it is this chart is a uh, uh, a very uh, known chart to me because uh, she is a very good friend of mine and I know her personally from uh, my school days and she is extremely beautiful to look and due to security reasons uh, she has requested me not to put the birth information and the birth details okay so I will be going through the details and yes before I begin as I always say God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website it's there in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments okay so let us start now now before i start this video there are some disclaimers which i want to give okay so i had made these two three videos recently and then many of you have mailed me oh my goodness this is happening in my chart that is happening you said like this you said like that well let me tell you first of all this is not a full consultation okay this is just a consultation uh, focusing on one particular aspect so just because there are some similarities with this chart and your chart doesn't mean the same problem is there okay it can be the other way around doesn't mean that if you have this chart you will also be beautiful like this girl okay it doesn't mean that number two you may not have these combinations that does not mean that you will be an ugly person okay so there are millions of combinations for good looks and beauty appearance etc among which some of them are very vividly present in this chart okay so we will go through it first of all now there are many significators of beauty one of them is if there are presence of natural benefits in the lagna okay and especially if they are very strong there now we also give this uh, we also give very high weightage to presence of natural benefits in the kendra houses okay kendra means the first fourth seventh and the tenth house now why why do we say that because now you may say oh only first house is the body it is only referring to our personality the way we look why are we why are you considering the kendra why what about fourth seventh and tenth seventh house we can understand that it puts an aspect to the lagna but what about the fourth and the tenth so why we are considering not only the first seven but why are we considering uh, all the four kendra houses the result is the answer is because when there are benefits in the kendra okay then the person has a relatively easy going life okay depending on other things of course this is not a blind uh, blind statement but depending on other things the person has a relatively uh, easy going life and then uh, so most of the things related to the person are taken care of yes so then the person has the capacity to maintain whatever is there with him or her okay for a long time so for example if somebody is blessed with good looks then the person will have the capacity to maintain those looks okay for a long time now you will say oh but this actress does not have any benefit in the kendra that actor doesn't have has malefics in the kendra again i said okay don't take my words into isolation without reading the whole chart so now here if i take that point into consideration you can see that there is the presence of moon in the lagna yes moon is a natural benefit and in this chart it is ruling the third house i'll go to third house later but let's talk of the natural benefits in the kendra first so the first thing to be noticed here is she has an exalted moon in the ascendant okay and this is very 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 powerful because first house is directly representing the way you look and uh, presence of this uh, in a moon in exaltation shows that the person will be uh, having a very good first impression on everybody yes 
which generally comes from looks. So that does not mean that if somebody is not very good looking, the person cannot give a first good first impression to others. But generally, we all know that if we see a person is very good looking, we naturally feel like going and talking to that person. We naturally feel that, oh, maybe that person is also good or maybe that person has a sweet voice or maybe that person is very intelligent. Yes. So beauty gives all these uh, traits to a person that even if the person is not intelligent we feel that when we talk to a person who is good looking that oh this person may be very intelligent that is why whenever a man will hear the voice of a girl who uh, of a girl who speaks very sweetly he will intrinsically assume in his mind that oh maybe the girl looks also very beautiful yes so first house is the first impression so the appearance plays a vital role so presence of a natural benefit like moon and that too in exhortation this is very powerful here okay lord krishna also had his moon in exhortation in the first house so this is very 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 powerful now this sums up the information about the first house which is the first impression okay now let us see what other things are happening in this chart which other houses give physical attraction well Another very, very, very important house is the third house. Yes, yes, yes. You guessed it right. Why third house? Because third house is known as Maithuna Bhava. It is the house of prostitution. It is the house of sexuality. It is the house which, um, which is, it's a very superficial house. It's the, also the house of dating. Although dating is primarily fifth house, but third house also has a counterpart to it. Yes. Because see, what's the third house? Third house is the negation of the twelfth house, right? Uh, of the fourth house, I mean, because it is the twelfth uh, from the fourth house. So, fourth house shows our settlement, our sustenance, etc. So, basically, fourth house uh, is known as the house of the home. So, negation of home. So, basically, what is, uh, uh, what's the third house? Third house is uh, the house which uh, is exactly that which goes on in Kaliuga, yes? So, uh, they, they represent short encounters and sometimes uh, physical encounters also so that's the house and we know the third sign is of Gemini right and Gemini uh, is the sign which has twins and it also uh, shows two people who are uniting together so now if you see here if the third lord or the third house has benefits or the third lord is related to the Lagna or the Lagna lord then also there is a chance that there is very high beauty in this person now here moon is also the third lord here because the sign cancer is falling in the third house yes so third lord in the lagna if other combinations support can also make a person very beautiful because uh, when there are benefits in the third house that can show that people are uh, very much attracted to you for um, for uh, physical pleasures okay and especially when this comes in the lagna this can be much 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 more higher so that condition is satisfied here now there's another thing in this chart there is a planet like exalted jupiter because she is born in 1991 all right uh, if i am not wrong august so during that time jupiter was in the sign of cancer uh, which is considered to be its exaltation sign so another uh, criteria which i said benefits in the third house and now sun is also placed there but <coughs> sun and jupiter are friends so this uh, this combination could be very good for uh, uh, for improving this uh, condition of the third house in pertaining to physical attraction yes and which is definitely the case uh, now the other thing which i said was presence of natural benefits in the kendra houses we see that the planets like mercury which is placed here and there are also planets like venus which is the planet of beauty etc now they are placed in the fourth house here and venus is also having directional strength because venus gets directional strength in the fourth house yes now venus is not an ordinary planet here it is also the lagna lord considering the fact that this person is a taurus ascendant because number two is for taurus so the Lagna Lord is itself in Kendra, it is itself a benefic and it is also having directional strength. So Lagna Lord shows the physical body. Yes. So uh, because this Lagna Lord is in Digbala in directional strength, 
and this is in the sign of Leo so because of that this person has a extremely strong body uh, she's extremely tall I mean not like some six feet or seven feet but she's reasonably tall enough that she looks extremely beautiful and the Lagna Lord is with Mercury and Mars so this shows that she has a lot of male friends because Mars represents the <coughs> male people in a woman's chart and Mercury represents the friends for everybody so and this person has a lot of uh, friends from the opposite sex yes and um, fourth house is also a very good house for Venus to be placed in because fourth house is the house of luxury fourth house is the house of uh, beauty yes that's why it's the house of the home so when uh, Venus goes and sits there it shows that the home of this person is extremely beautiful and the native's mother is also extremely beautiful yes so those things are shown here now another thing that has to be uh, that is to be seen is we have to see if there are combinations between the lagna lord and the fifth house yes because fifth house is the house of dating so if there are benefits in the fifth house or the fifth lord is well placed or with the lagna lord then it can show that there are lots and lots of people who are interested in uh, dating us yes then uh, we may get a lot of invitations from them yes that uh, can i go out with you can we hang out this this that etc etc so now if you see here considering the fact that she's a taurus lagna and the number six sign which is in the fifth house is the sign of virgo so ruler of this sign is mercury now here mercury venus are conjunct okay now because of this this shows extreme level of attraction so fifth house is the house of goodness so generally when the fifth house is well connected with the lagna lord or uh, they are in mutual aspect this shows that whenever people see us they feel very good yes we may not be physically attractive but still people will feel very good about us so then they would want to date us more yes so that criteria is also satisfied here now there's another criteria the connection of the seventh lord with the lagna lord can also make a person very attractive because seventh house is the house of other people yes and uh, the difference between the fifth and the seventh is fifth house is the house of dating but seventh house generally represents opposite sex and everybody else so if the seventh house and the lagna lord are linked then and if they are reasonably in a good uh, sign good dignity then it can show that the uh, people who are opposite to us won't be anybody a boy or a girl or a lady or a man or an aged woman aged man anybody they are also very attracted to us due to some reason or the other okay now if you see here this is the sign of taurus yes and this is the sign of scorpio so taurus is ruled by venus and scorpio is ruled by mars so here again mars and venus are conjunct so earlier i had showed you venus was conjunct mercury now venus is conjunct the seventh lord yes so the lagna lord is conjunct the fifth lord seventh lord and the lagna has the <coughs> third lord itself sitting there yes so this uh, these are some of the combinations which gives extreme level of attraction yes and there are so many other things in this chart like uh, jupiter is in exaltation in the third which also uh, improves the third house and because of that as i said people will further be attracted but why do i see of jupiter again if you see closely in this chart jupiter is eighth lord here yes and it is also the eleventh lord so eighth house is uh, originally the house of scorpio it is the house of sexuality it is the house of attachment yes so third house and eighth house uh, if they are also very well connected to the lagna or to the lagna lord or if the third and the eighth are connected to each other this can also give extreme level of attraction okay because they originally occupy the signs gemini and scorpio so now if you see here the eighth lord is jupiter considering the sign number nine which is sagittarius is again sitting in the third house and it is in exaltation and it is extremely strong because it is again looking back at its own house which is the 11th house now as we know uh, houses 3 7 11 are known as the kama houses yes so now here what's happening is jupiter aspects from the third house it aspects the seventh house it aspects the ninth house and it also aspects the 11th house 
So because because of its aspect in the seventh and in the eleventh houses, uh, Jupiter ensures that there is uh, growth and prosperity in and expansion in that area. So because of that, this native has lots of friends and especially male friends, and uh, the seventh house is also being blessed by Jupiter here. And uh, now this girl is going to be married because she is running her Mars time period very soon by the next year probably this person will be married as she had told me and Mars is placed here in the fourth house although that's not a very great placement for Mars but uh, it is well placed in the sign of Leo and it is aspecting back the seventh house where all, although this is uh, one of the uh, factors for Manglik Dosha but uh, the person with whom she is getting married uh, is also a Manglik in some way uh, as she had told me that one of the astrologers had told her regarding this so as they say that if a Manglik marries another Manglik then the dosha gets uh, reduced it gets nullified so here this person is a Manglik because Mars is in the fourth from there it aspects the seventh house with its fourth aspect so the Manglik dosha is also getting cancelled and Venus the natural significator of marriage is well placed uh, although Leo is not a very great sign for Venus this can give too much of uh, ego and dominance and power and ability to uh, do too much of a show off because Venus uh, in Leo can sometimes behave like that yes so apart from that um, because the seventh lord and fifth lord are conjunct uh, with the Lagna lord so that shows that uh, the marriage will have a lot of love and romance and a lot of uh, sensuality in it and because of that uh, the married life will be quite good because the seventh lord is well placed and the natural significator of marriage Venus is also well placed in directional strength conjunct the ruler of the fifth house that is it and Jupiter is already casting its glance on the seventh house and on the eleventh house yes and there are other houses like second house is also the house of wealth and money prosperity yes because that shows our savings so when the second lord is in the fourth or especially in the kendra houses then that is also very good for money and uh, this is what i wanted to say now there are of course other combinations etc which shows that uh, she needs to be careful when dealing with the opposite sex especially presence of a malefic like rahu in the eighth house can indicate that there can be some chances where she can run into kind of a scandal sometimes and also considering the fact that Rahu aspects from the 8th house it aspects the Lagna Lord Venus and the 7th Lord and the 5th Lord so uh, that is what I have said to her that whenever you go out with somebody be very careful <laughs> anyways now that uh, thing is not a uh, uh, problem because she's anyways getting married the next year okay because uh, if you see the transits by November this year Jupiter is moving into the sign of Scorpio which is our seventh house so when Jupiter moves into the sign of Scorpio by transit this is a very favorable time all right and as I said currently Dasha wise she is running the Mars time period so that is also uh, the sub period of Mars I mean the Antar Dasha is of Mars and because of that uh, she will definitely get married most likely 99 percent because we can never say that everything is 100 percent all right and because the 12th lord uh, is here in the fourth house because mars is in fourth house and it's ruling the 12th house and 12th house also shows affairs and hidden things so when it is conjunct venus and with the lagna lord then this can also show too many affairs and lot of indulgences okay so that is it from my side i hope i clarified some of the combinations for beauty and there are many other combinations which are not there in this chart which if somebody has then they can be beautiful and uh, there are many people who will have these combinations but they may not be beautiful because of some other reasons some other planet may be cancelling this yoga yes so we will discuss about those things later so i hope this was uh, good enough to give a basic understanding and my only request is uh, nobody should think that i am uh, making a chart for beauty and i'm trying to show people oh look 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 if you don't have this you are not beautiful no 
never ever think like that because ultimately as we all know we are spirit souls right so even if we are beautiful but we are not having spiritual inquisitiveness that is not going to solve the problem and the next thing i would the last thing i would say is i am not talking anything about the career of this person nor i am talking about the merit marital life or how will the marriage be nor am i going to nakshatras because uh, that's not the focus of the video the focus of the video is to just show um, the some some basic combinations which can lead to beauty so i would summarize the first house connected with the third fifth seventh especially the third house because that is the house of maithun that is the house of population and the third and the eighth having link and benefits in the third house like jupiter and benefits in the lagna in strength like an exalted moon and benefits in the kendra in general okay that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then don't shy away just simply write it in the comments and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with those who want to know will this person be beautiful or will that person be beautiful okay <laughs> Until next time, just remember God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Okay. And if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my website. The link is there in the description box below. Okay. Until next time, wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you.